Hey guys, so I am Jazz Chapman. This is Jazz Chapman TV. And today I wanted to do something a little different, a little fun. Um, I wanted to talk about the Jeezy versus Gucci Mane uh, versus that came on last night. And no, I actually did not see it. I wanted to see it. But by the time I found out it was on Apple TV, I decided to just go ahead and and work on my uh, YouTube video that I was doing yesterday. So anyways, I just wanted to talk about the wealth portion of this versus. So I keep seeing it ever since last night. I follow so many financial people and, you know, uh, hip hop culture and stuff like that on Instagram. And so I just keep seeing about how uh, Gucci Man basically challenged Jeezy to a jewelry versus and Jeezy wasn't really going for it. He was more so on the tip. Let's talk let's compare our real estate. And you know, he Gucci man was talking about his outfit and Jeezy was saying, I don't have only ten thousand dollar outfit, but I do own half of Atlanta. And so I can really respect that. I actually like both of them. As for Jeezy, I like his music and stuff. Gucci, to me, maybe it's the Aquarius for me, but I just, I like Gucci. Even though Gucci is more of a, a show-off. He's definitely more flashy, more icy <laughs> than, than Jeezy is. And uh, I'm usually not into it, but it's the personality for me. He's just entertaining. And so, I just wanted to talk about that because I see so many things uh, like I saw on Twitter or well, they said on Twitter that somebody fact checked uh, Jeezy's statement about owning half of Atlanta and it came back that he only owns two properties. So I want to say something about that. There is something called LLCs and there is something called trust. A lot of people do not put their properties and their different businesses and stuff in different assets. They do not put all their different assets under their name because they are protected if it's under a LLC, which is a, limit, a, li a limited liability corporation. And they're protected if they get sued. Then if somebody was to sue them over that business or asset, they can't come and take everything from them. There's something also called a trust. A lot of people put things, different assets and things, and this is not just celebrities. Regular people do it also. They put that in trust. Therefore, their businesses or who owns it is anonymous. And so, so a lot of times people don't even know who owns what business or property because they're under trust. So with that being said, you don't really know how many properties, what real estates and what businesses that Jeezy owns. And also people looked up their net worth. Uh, I believe it said that Gucci Man net worth is twelve million, and Jeezy's Jeezy net worth is ten million. All that just means is that that's how many <laughs> publicly known assets that Gucci Man has and ha that Jeezy has. So, and just for people who are not sure what net worth is, net worth is your assets minus your liabilities. So your assets would be things like properties, businesses, those type of things. Your liabilities would be things that you owe money on, debt. So, so with that being said, nobody really knows anybody's true net worth online because this is about publicly known assets. So even Forbes, they said they had a representative. They went on the Ruffs Club. They said that they don't actually know people's 
real net worth because they only going off of assets and things that they can find online that are pub not online but that are publicly known so there are people that have a lot of private investments going on and that's not included in their net worth that is portrayed on Forbes or online whatever it may be so so with that being said, who knows how much cash that they have because that cash is not included into your network. Who knows who has even more assets, Gucci Man or Jeezy, because truthfully, it's not out there. It's They're more than likely under different LLCs. They're probably under trust. And... Let's be clear, you guys. Gucci Man is no fool. Gucci Man, he may be very flashy, but he also has his own businesses going on. So, he's definitely, he's worth more than what the internet said. Now, going off of their reality show that his wife had when they were getting married, she's got plenty of businesses. And back then, that was three years ago, she said her business was worth over $30 million And that Gucci made more than her. He was worth more than her. And she took $2 million of his money when he went to jail. And she flipped it for her business. And she he came out and he had $6 million. So don't think that Gucci is some fool. He may be very flashy and braggadocious. <laughs> but... Gucci, you know, he's definitely building wealth also. So, that's what I got to say about Jeezy and Gucci. I think it's great that they were bringing up these conversations about real estate and owning. I mean, it shows so much growth on Jeezy part. I mean, they're in their 40s. So, you know, kudos to them. I really appreciate that. I can respect that. And, you know, just basically telling people like, hey, <laughs> you know, don't don't go off of something that you read online about, oh, he only has two just because that's what they found in his name. I don't believe that Jeezy owns half of Atlanta, but I do believe that he owns a lot. And so, you know, that's something to be said. But that's it. You know, I figured I would talk about this since I was so interested in it because I kept seeing it over and over again. And like I said, on this channel, we talk about deals. We talk about saving. We talk about how to grow your money. So I thought that was important to do this video. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this is Nonstop November. Back to the regular videos. <laughs> And uh, thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe, and we will do this again. Bye.